Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to talk about a little tiny battery that lives in your computer. It's called a CMOS battery, C-M-O-S. lives right here on a motherboard. Maybe you can see that. We'll get a closer look at that in just a minute. But sometimes you have to take this out if it goes bad. It's a 3-volt battery. Um, laptops also contain these. And uh, once in a while they go dead, although rare. And sometimes you need to take the password out of BIOS to um, use your computer again if somebody locks you out of your BIOS. So today we're going to look at uh, how to replace these little batteries in laptops and desktops coming up. Okay, so here's the battery. Like I said before, it's a 3-volt battery. If we have a little tester, we can put this tester on our battery and check it. We can probably see that. That one's at 3.3, so that's still a good battery. Now, these are the type of um, motherboards that live in a bigger computer, such as this HP. I'll just open this up real quickly and show you where it lives inside here. And then we'll go to the uh, circuit board for a closer look. Right here, you could probably see that battery right there. That's the three volt battery that I was showing you earlier. And that's where it lives. So if you want to take that battery out, all you need is a flatbed screwdriver. Let me show you how that's done. You just need a screwdriver that looks like this with a flat blade on it. And you push on this little clip right here and it pops a battery right out. Let's take a look at this one. Three volts. Anything less than three volts and you should probably replace this. They're only a few bucks. So this is uh, 292 so this battery is actually bad. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the three volt battery in this motherboard. And the job of this battery is to actually um, power the internal clock as well as the BIOS setting, which includes how much memory you have, how big a hard drive you have, the settings for the video card, which um, PCI slots to use at any given time. So th those are some of the things that the BIOS controls. Um, so now that you know how to change the button cell on a desktop, let's look at a compact laptop here. Usually, it's located where the hard drive is, and it's always a good idea to pull the laptop battery out before you start. So, if you're not sure where your battery lives on the motherboard of your um, laptop, you can just look it up in the directions. It looks a little bit different. Here's another example of a battery for a laptop. So this one is located right here, and it's round. You can see it. Pop it up here for you. You can see it right there. Let's see if we can get it out of there. Yep, there it is. And this one actually has a wire. So if you just get a little. So there it is there. So just use a little pair of tweezers and then remember which way there's two wires on it. There's a black and a red one. Just remember which position each of the wires goes on to. And then you can uh, just put it back the way it lives. The batteries aren't very expensive. If somebody locks you out of your um, if somebody locks you out of your laptop, you can remove that battery and then reset the BIOS. So that would be another reason to take that battery out temporarily. Okay, guys, I hope you got some use out of this show. Thanks for subscribing. Have yourself a good day. We'll see you soon. Hey, guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.